Hi everyone, in this lesson we're going to be going over variables because variables are extremely important to computer science. So what are variables? Well variables allow us to name things while we're programming. So before we go any further, I want to take a step back to think about why names are important. So if everybody had the same name, would you want to live in a world like that? For example, let's say everybody's name was Bob and Somebody says, Bob, stand up, and everybody stands up in a room. That could be very confusing, right? So why do we all have different names? Well, so that we can be very specific, and we could say, oh, you know, Gary, stand up, or Sally, stand up, and those people will stand up. So we can be very specific if everybody has a different name. And it's the same sort of thing with objects. Could we live in a world where every object had the same name? If I said, oh, you know, hey, pass me the doorbell of water. You're gonna be like, what is he talking about? You know, a glass of water, doorbell of water, right? If everything had the same name, we wouldn't know what each thing is. So in computer science, we can name things so that we can tell certain things to move up or move down, to divide, to, to subtract, anything like that. So to figure this out further, I want you to see the two videos down below from code.org. They do a really great job of showing you how we use variables in computer science. And then after that, we'll be using variables so that we can figure out how to control both the line width and the radius in different parts of our app by creating a variable that we could say, hey, move that thing up and down. And I'll see you in the next video where we'll handle that.